desire to help with your ministry evangelical platform. You can go see the website, but in short, this ministry is designed to really try and address the progressive, the liberal onslaught, the militancy that we find at secular universities in America, uh, in Europe, in South Africa, where the militants have basically taken over. They're persecuting even evangelicals today. So I want to provide resources. I want to provide a voice in the academy, in the church for Christians who are battling these progressive agendas. And especially for those who are in a compromised position. Those who have to make a choice, do I stay or do I align myself with those who are faithful? So we want to design material and stories and interviews with professors that will serve as a catalyst to motivate you to choose to move away from error and align yourself with denominations and seminaries that are balanced and that are evangelical and reformed. Next question, what guidance would you give to someone in a compromising denomination? Now, I must say that I've wrestled with this over a couple of years because in my book that I wrote, I was still hopeful that God can bring restoration and revival in the Dutch Reformed Church. And since I came to England, and after publishing this with all the documentary evidence that the professors denied that our confessions teach the bodily resurrection of Jesus, we hoped and prayed that that will convince the church to remain faithful and not appoint more of these liberal professors and that churches will return to our confessions. But that didn't happen. And then I noticed over time that that debate about remaining or staying or leaving uh, mainline churches goes back for centuries. The big catalyst here was a big debate between Martin Lloyd-Jones and John Stott in 1966 where you had evangelicals who wanted to remain in big mainline churches who turned liberal and Martin Lloyd-Jones who wanted evangelicals and reformed theologians and churches to unite with each other. So that debate has been going on for a long time and I noticed over time that you reach a point where you are actually unfaithful to scripture if you remain in a church where liberals are accommodated. So my advice would be is to read scripture. Don't look at your own tradition or your hopes and, and you're comfortable in your church and it will be too difficult to leave. I can tell you many stories about people who are compromising. They've got a pension, they've got a stipend, they've got security and they will find all sorts of maneuver ways to stay. Uh, if you read scripture, uh, Matthew 18, Jesus who said that if somebody sins against you, if there's heresy, talk to them if they don't listen, if they stubbornly persist. At the end, you have to separate yourself from them. And my understanding is, if, if you read Paul and several other letters as well, too many evangelicals are unfaithful to Christ by remaining in churches where liberalism has taken over. And my call for them would be is, the time has come to realign yourself with an evangelical reformed church Smaller churches, that's fine, but faithful to Christ. If, if we're going to stand before Christ one day, will we be able to tell him, Lord, um, yes, I compromised, you know, because, you know, it's comfortable in my family tradition and we've been here. No, the Lord is going to ask me, Frederick, were you faithful? And that is what he's going to ask you and me. So last question for today, uh, upcoming projects that you can talk to us about. Oh yeah, there are so many. We've got like 10, 12, 15. And you know, everyone is almost like a wine that you have to come and see whether it's ready. And you know, you do all your research and all your things and they are all progressing. I've got a couple of professors that I'm going to interview from South Africa who stood up against liberals. Some of them were persecuted. They're going to try and encourage us. Um, I've got a series on biblical theology. I want to go through the Bible. I've got a series on the resurrection of Jesus. Uh, so there's just a few little flavors of what we're busy with uh, for the next couple of months. So let's wrap it up. Thank you so very, very much for my friends who send, send these questions. May the Lord Jesus bless you. And can I invite you again? If you are passionate about the gospel, if you're concerned about liberals that are capturing churches and universities, and you want to equip Christians with the gospel, why won't you subscribe and join our ministry? And may we glorify the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray this. Until next time, goodbye.